Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial. So this will be a Docker tutorial for beginners and we are going to see about Docker local registry. So to start, if you don't know what is a Docker registry, so you could have you know, heard about registry or Docker hub. So I, I'm sure and everybody who has worked on uh, Docker will be knowing about Docker hub, which is a hosted registry. So what do you mean by a Docker registry is like it's a place where we can store our Docker images and we can distribute it. That means if you have an image, you have it in the registry and you can use that into other Docker machines or you can pull it from that and you can make use of that. So it's like a place where you can make use of your images to be stored and distributed. So that's what uh, registry. So since we have Docker Hub, we will be using that. But in this tutorial, what we are going to see is how we can set up our own local registry. So we are not going to talk about a uh, remote registry like uh, using J jfrog or anything this is like a uh, hosted in in your computer itself so we'll uh, make use of open uh, registry image open source uh, registry image and we will create our local registry so the steps involved in this uh, create local uh, docker registry is like you know we'll see how to create a local registry and uh, using the docker registry image and we will also you know run this as a container because it's a docker container will be running with that image and we'll also see how we can access the images which we upload it to the local registry from other docker machines so that will be our uh, overall uh, steps in this tutorial i'm sure this will be interesting for you so before i get into the actual demo i would request you like uh, click on the subscribe button if you have not uh, subscribed to my channel yet or if you are new to my channel i would also request you to like uh, my videos share and comment if anyone does not know what is a uh, docker hub so you can go to hub.docker.com and you should be able to see the repositories and you can also search you know the default uh, repositories available like uh, ubuntu or mysql or any kind of repositories you can use so let's get started with our tutorial so i am having this machine where uh, the docker is installed okay and uh, i don't have any containers running now so you can see i don't have any containers running so what i'm going to do is uh, let me go and check what are the images we have so you can see i have uh, quite some docker images right so i'm going to download a new image from uh, the docker hub which is uh, docker all I'm going to call is uh, the I'm going to pull the NGNX image. So it's the latest NGNX image. So this image is coming from uh, Docker Hub. Okay. So let's make use of this image to uh, you know, uh, use for our uh, uh, local registry. So before you know uh, doing that, I would also like to set up the local registry because this is just an image I'm downloading for sample. Okay, so let me clear out so Docker images. So you can see we have uh, an NGNX image. Okay, so let's keep that aside. So because we will use that for our uh, this testing in this uh, tutorial. Now what we need to do is we need to set up our local registry. It's pretty simple. You can use Docker run, and uh, I will run it in uh, detached mode. Okay, sure, and I will also use the port. 5000 which is uh, the port number for the registry okay and i'm going to give a name for the registry as uh, docker registry okay and the uh, image is uh, registry and i'm going to use the latest if you can uh, give the tag or if not it, it will take the latest uh, image anyhow so let's run this so you can see the image is uh, the container is created so you can see the container running right so what does that mean is so like our uh, no, uh, docker registry is running now so how you will check whether this uh, registry have some images right so for that first you need to have this IP address of this machine so uh, let me put IP address okay so I will be able to get the IP address which should be here so this is the IP address of uh, this machine okay so let me clear out my screen so now what you can do is you can use the curl command to get uh, the you know, uh, registry catalog so I'm going to run this command curl x get and this should be the uh, you know 
the, our local registry path so it should be like the IP address of the machine and the port 5000 and there should be v2 and catalog so if you run it there you can see there are uh, nothing inside the repository now so you don't have any images okay so uh, what I will do is uh, I will also want to do is like before I do this uh, setup I also want to add some more uh, you know uh, settings into this container so I'm going to remove this container which is running for this uh, docker local registry now what I want to do is in the previous command docker run I have only uh, given the port number the name and the registry right this time I also want to map a volume so that you know I can have uh, some configuration saved into the locally into this machine so currently I'm in a folder called uh, root docker registry so I'm going to run this command which should be like the similar docker run hyphen d and the port number and I also want to add restart always so that the container will be restart if it's failed and the name I'm giving as registry and I'm going to attach a volume so it should be the current folder and I'm going to use docker hyphen registry the folder and it should be mapped to var lib uh, registry and uh, you know the image registry latest so let's run this okay so you can see docker ps is the container is running and you can see there is a folder created as docker hyphen uh, registry right if i go into that so you currently you don't have anything so let's uh, clear out the screen now let's see how what we can do what do you mean by the local registry right so now we have this docker images so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, tag this nginx okay so i'm going to give a new uh, name for this so what i'm going to do is since our registry is running on that ip address uh, slash 5000 so i need to map this uh, you know um, if you see like if you're pushing some image to docker hub you have to give the you know uh, your login name for your docker hub right similar way the login uh, address for this docker registry should be your ip address of port 5000 right so i'm going to tag docker tags and i'm going to give this nginx a new name and the name should be so the name will be the ip address and the port 5000 slash i want to call this as same as nginx so if I run this, it's done. So now if I go to Docker images, you should be able to see a new image over here. You can see it here, right? So it's the image which we just created, which we tagged, right? So IP address port. Uh, so this is currently inside this um, machine. Now we want to push this uh, to the uh, our uh, local registry. So you can use Docker push and uh, Sure, let me delete these things. Okay, so it should be docker push and uh, this command. Okay, so this would be the registry address so and the image name. So that's how we tag, right? So if I run it now, if you see, we are getting an error like it's not able to push because uh, that we are trying to push with an HTTPS where uh, the server given HTTP response. So basically, you have to add, you know, uh, or certificate authentication or, uh, to this um, registry, local registry, to make it more secure. So then only it will work. But as a workaround, what we will do is we will uh, set our Docker to tell that okay, this uh, registry is an insecure registry, so you can make use of that. So for that, what you need to do is we need to, you know, edit a file, the daemon .json file. So we need to edit this file uh, under etc docker daemon.json so if this file is uh, not existing if you some uh, machine it may not have it since uh, you know uh, no it, it's not uh, having when we install it but in my case i have it because i think i have used it to set up some prometheus uh, scrapping but if you don't have it you can create a new file okay so you just uh, create so you can see I have some experimental here and uh, now we need to enter some entries here. So I will tell you what you have to add. So if you don't have anything, you can just uh, you know, create a new one and uh, you can add this insecure uh, registries and this would be our local uh, registry IP address and the port number. So if it will change uh, for you, you have to give your IP address and the port number and the comma and uh, this is not mandatory because since I have it uh, it was set as uh, true for me because I was using this uh, Prometheus scrapping I changed it to false okay so let's save this file okay 
so now we need to restart your uh, docker um, uh, no service so let's uh, docker let me stop it first system ctl stop docker yep then uh, you can start it okay now if i go to you can see it's running okay so we have set this uh, docker telling that this is a insecure registry so you, now you can push it so docker push and uh, you can add the uh, no uh, the image uh, with that uh, in local registry IP address so it should be you have to always give this one because when you tag your uh, no images you have to tag that this is your uh, local registry otherwise it will not be pushed so now we know you can see it's pushing to that uh, local registry right so it's not pushing to docker hub it's pushing to the docker registry so now if I go to docker images you can see this image is there right so I'm going to remove this image docker RMI and I'm going to just remove this image okay okay so I have to force this okay so let me clear out so docker images so now we can see we don't have the image uh, for nginx over here right but we do have this image under uh, local registry so you can use docker pool and uh, you can use the IP address uh, port number for the local registry and the image name so it should be nginx right now you can see it's uh, pulling the image so this is not coming from docker hub actually this is coming from your uh, local registry so if I go to docker images now you can see the image is back so that means you know this we have created our docker local registry and now we can push our images uh, to this registry and we can make use of that uh, you know to use it within your internal network so it will not be accessible for outside unless it's open so now for example this is a different machine okay node 2 this is the node 1 where I have the docker registry created now this is the node 2 and uh, if you go there you have to set the same uh, permissions here so uh, where we have set uh, in the docker uh, daemon file it should be doccat etc slash docker slash daemon.json so i have set this in circuit registries over here as well if you don't set this one then you may not be able to download the image here itself because you may get that uh, you know uh, issues with the authentication or the SSL certificate okay so now if I go to docker pool and uh, let me give the registry uh, path it should be this and the image right so if I run this you can see it's downloading the image right so you can see you know uh, it, this is how we can create a docker local registry and it will can be used to you know uh, upload your docker images and which can be used to connect to other machines and you can download the image uh, from from that local registry so it's a very useful purpose okay if you want to keep your own local registry of some of your images so i hope you understood that now let's go back to our machine and uh, you know if you go back we have this folder right so if you go to docker registry now you can see I have a folder called docker and you can see registry right so and you can see v2 so it, it's created blob repositories and a lot of things right so uh, you know it has created a whole uh, content over here and you can also check with the you know, command which I have given to you in the first case like what other repositories or registry in the inside the re registry so you can run this command curl x get and the v2 catalog so if you run this now you can see we have an image called nginx so we have a repository created here for nginx and there is an image so let's go here at repositories so you can see nginx right so you can see it's have layers manifest upload so all the image details will be stored here now so that's the you know whatever you have it in the docker hub the similar functions is happening over here as well so if you want to remove your local repository, it's the same as you're removing a Docker container. So you just go and delete your uh, containers. It will delete all the things. 
so you know uh, since we have a you know uh, persistent volume those contents will be in the persistent volume so i think this is a informative tutorial right because you can set up your own local registry we'll also see like how to set up uh, registries using jfrog in the upcoming tutorials so that is all for this tutorial so i hope it's a informative tutorial and uh, you know i would like to request you to subscribe my channel for more videos and also kindly like my videos share and comment so thank you for watching